Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're going to be going over the 2019 Honda CRV. Big thank you and shout out to Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for providing us with the vehicle today. And then, as always, if you are stopping in for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. But let's just get right into the video. So, under the hood of the 2019 Honda CRV, you can get two different engine options actually. There's a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter four cylinder that's good for 184 horsepower and 179 pound feet of torque or you can get a turbocharged 1.5 liter that is good for 190 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque and both of those are going to be routed through a CVT transmission and fuel economy is roughly going to be 28 in the city and then 30 combined with up to 34 on the highway. Finishing things up front, we have Honda's new signature LED headlights with the LED accent lights that go along with that, the fog lamps down below. And this particular color is called Platinum White. I'm not sure if it's showing very well through the camera, but it has a very, very nice sparkle in the sun to it. I really, really love this color. It's a really good looking color, especially on this car. Moving around back, we can look at the key fob of the new CRV. If we lock up the CRV and then hold on to this button, that'll do the remote start function. This particular one does have that turbocharged engine, so you'll hear the turbo 1.5 liter start right up. And then if we press it again, that will turn it right off. Function we can do is if we hold down this button, the other button on the key fob right there, you can do the power lift tailgate. So the tailgate will pop right up. This particular one is a touring edition, so it's pretty loaded up. Has a nice little cargo cover in the back here. Plen plenty of storage space and there's actually a low loading floor so it's really easy to get stuff in here and then you do get a spare tire down below as well another cool control with this is if you pull that lever you can actually lower down the back seat so you don't have to lower it down from the front so if you need to quickly throw something in the back makes it an easy function on that coming around to the side we can open it up you get this nice wood trim in the touring Leather bolsters right here. Gotta throw the seat up since we just put it down, but you get nice perforated leather in the back here. I, I like how it looks. You get little cup holders that you can pull out, out of the center, and then you get charging stations, and then you get vents for the rear passengers. I've got the seat about where I'd sit, and there's just a ton of leg room, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Going around to the front, it's got keyless entry, so one touch to lock it. Put your hand on the back to unlock it, and you can see the little blind spot in the mirror right there. It does have blind spot monitoring. All of your controls for the window controls are all right here. Those are to adjust your mirrors, your memory seats, more nice wood trim. And then you do get power adjustments on the side with lumbar. This is to customize some of the safety tech. So if you want to turn off the lane departure, forward collision warning, your tailgate, and then you have your electronic stability control as well. Stepping into the CRV, step in height's really good since this is an SUV, it's easy to get in. But you can see here we have all of our controls for the cruise control and adaptive cruise control function. On the other side, you have your Bluetooth controls and then your controls for the center screen right there. Start up the CRV off. You just put your foot on the brake and push the push button. It would do cool animations on the dash for you. And then this is um, the first iteration of that gauge cluster that I was um, showing you guys in the other two vehicles, the Passport and the Pilot. But it still has that cool kind of animation when you raise the RPMs. I just love how that looks. And then you get your digital speed, speed readout right there in the center. Coming over to the touch screen here. It's um, different than the unit that was in the Pilot and in the Passport that I just reviewed. It's um, Honda's prior unit that they used to use, but it's still really responsive um, in terms of time. You can do your Bluetooth, calling, texting, everything through this touchscreen interface. And it does come with a backup camera as well. So you get trajectory lines right there, and then you can do different zoom functions. So you can do like any you know different camera angles and then if you do have a receiver hitch you can do a zoom function onto the receiver which is really neat as well down below we have all of our analog controls for the climate controls right there you do have dual zone climate and then this has the heated seat controls right next to that electronic parking brake and then you have a brake hold that's for your eco mode and then your gear selector is right here in the middle it's kind of out of the way since it's up here on the center stack power outlet down below you get more charging stations down there and then you get this cool center console and you've got this that you can slide back and forth so that you can use all the storage space down there kind of wrapping things up on the interiors i like the look of the front seats as well they have kind of a sporty look to them and you do get a sunroof with the CRV, so just a regular sunroof. This isn't a panoramic option or anything like that. And as always, the sunroof controls are over here. A little bit hard to see though because of the light in the cabin, but that's where you can control all of that. And so after all of this, let's just get right into the drive portion to see how the new CRV drives. Are 
setting off here in the 2019 Honda CRV, and first impression wise, I'm actually really liking this turbocharged motor. I imagine that because of the increased torque and the torque at lower RPMs compared to the naturally aspirated motor, it's going to do a little bit better around town driving and then better on the highway as well because it has a little bit more power. For handling and ride characteristics, it handles really well, rides really smooth so far, so huge plus on that. We are going to take the 2019 CRV onto the interstate just to get a little bit of an acceleration with it, see how it handles on the highway as well. We're just taking the CRV on the interstate right now just to see how this turbo 1.5 cylinder, you know, basically does. Acceleration wise, it's more than adequate. And the CVT transmission actually keeps it into the power band very, very well. The acceleration is really smooth and I know that people have given CVTs a little bit of gripe in the past, but this one does really well actually. You don't really notice that it's a CVT. Ride quality on the interstate is really smooth. It's not quite as smooth as the Passport or as the Pilot, but it's not rough by any means. To sum things up, this is actually Honda's best seller in terms of the SUV. They do the most volume with this particular vehicle, and it's because it's at a more budget-friendly price point. You can get a lot of safety tech with this at a really reasonable price, and rides smooth, tons of storage space in the back, and you can fit people in the back seats comfortably as well. And so if you're looking for an SUV, you need the all-wheel drive, you want something that's a little bit more comfortable, really good on the fuel economy for an SUV overall, then definitely come and check out one of these CRVs. They've been selling these for years and years, and it's been their best seller, it's going to continue to be their best seller, and it's for very good reason. Here we have it, everyone, the 2019 Honda CRV. As always, a big shout out and thank you to Stockton 12 Honda for providing us with the vehicle to do today. But if you are stopping in for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. Comment down below what you think, and then I will see all of you in that next video.